What are the benefits of sunlight beyond vitamin D? This is JJ Virgin, four-time New York Times bestselling author, celebrity nutrition expert, and fitness hall of famer. I've been on a lifelong quest for answers to the toughest health questions. And now I'm sharing what I found with you. Welcome to Ask the Health Expert. Sarah from Twitter asks, what are the benefits of sunlight beyond vitamin D? Hey, it's JJ, and today I have Max Lugobert, the author of the New York Times bestselling book, Genius Foods, and now The Genius Life, here with me to answer this question. Now, besides being an author, he's also a filmmaker and a health and science journalist. In fact, he was pre-med in college, and then he took this introductory course in filmmaking and bam, fell in love with storytelling and then figured out a way to merge all those interests. He also sings and he plays the guitar and he even released an album in 2012 called One Year Later. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Hey, it's JJ here with a free guide for you. If you're struggling with gas and bloating, weight gain, food cravings, or maybe you feel like things just aren't quite right, it could be your gut. I've created a guide that can help you determine your risk for common ailments like leaky gut, SIBO, and CFO. Plus, I've included my favorite gut healing recipes and supplement recommendations to get you on the road to recovery fast. Grab yours free at jjvirgin.com forward slash gut guide. That's jjvirgin.com forward slash gut guide. Grab yours. Sunlight plays a number of important roles. For one, when you receive ambient daylight in through your eyes in the first half of the day, that basically anchors your body's circadian rhythm, which influences nearly every aspect of your biological functioning. Um, I recommend getting light of an intensity of about 1000 lux. Um, and you can easily do this even on the most overcast day, just by stepping outside or by hanging out for half an hour by a large open window. Anchoring your body's circadian rhythm, what that's going to do is that's going to make sure that you are energized and focused during the day when you want to be. And it also makes sure that you get sleepy um, when you're meant to get sleepy, which is later on uh, in the evening after the sun um, sets. So getting light, getting good, adequate sunlight in the morning can actually help you sleep better. And it also can improve your, your cognitive and physical performance throughout the day. So it really is a form of medicine, sunlight. The other thing that the sun can do, other than help your skin create vitamin D, which we know is crucially important as there are vitamin D receptors in every single organ of your body, is it can help boost cardiovascular health by helping create nitric oxide under the skin. It has been suggested in the medical literature that the UVA rays from the sun can actually help boost nitric oxide, which increases blood flow to all of your uh, different organs, your, your brain, of course. Um, but that also can help to reduce blood pressure, which we know is, uh, independently related to worse brain health. Um, but then also of course, cardiovascular disease and a number of other, um, undesirable health outcomes. So just make sure that every day you're getting a good amount of sun, uh, and it, you know, don't look directly into the sun, but just, you know, make sure that you are outside. Um, you know, today we spent 93% of our time indoors and that uh, is related to the fact that many of us are in ill health. And um, I think that this, the lack of adequate sun exposure every day, the chronic lack of, of adequate sun exp exposure definitely plays a role in that, in my opinion. This is JJ with Ask the Health Expert. I do this five times a week. So make sure you never miss a show by going to subscribe to JJ.com. 